One of the fun ways to decorate your home for the holidays is by hanging Christmas stockings. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas stocking. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther Adebayo. On this channel, I inspire your love for sewing by bringing you tutorials on sewing crafts and DIY projects like this one. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Without further ado, let's make a Christmas stocking. The materials you need for this project are shown on the screen. You will need a stocking pattern and there are many free patterns online that you can download. I'll link some of them for you in the description box. Once you have your pattern and your fabrics handy, it's time to cut the stocking pieces. Fold your outer fabric in half, wrong sides facing. Place the stocking pattern on the fabric and cut. That way, you are going to end up with two pieces of your outer fabric that you cut at once. You are going to repeat this same process for the lining fabric. And once you are done cutting, you will end up having two pieces for lining your Christmas stocking. Now I have all my pieces ready. Sorry, I don't have the clips showing how I cut the cuff pieces and the hanging loop. The next step is to personalize our Christmas stocking. The monogram I'm embroidering on the cuff is MOM, M-O-M. -M. I've attached a stairway stabilizer to the wrong side of one of the cuff pieces. And now I'm just marking the center line on the upper part of the cuff. The next step is to set the fabric in the hoop and then tighten the screw so that I can attach the hoop to the embroidery machine and then the, the machine will sew out the stitches the embroidery machine has sewn the monogram and I'm just cutting loose threads and then removing the stabilizer from the back of the cuff. It's time to sew our stocking pieces. With right sides facing, pin the outer stocking pieces together. Repeat the same process with the lining pieces. Now the next thing is to take the stocking pieces to the sewing machine and sew along the sides and the bottom of the pieces leaving the top edge open. I've sewn both stocking pieces with a half inch seam allowance and I'm just trimming the seams using my pinking shears. the outside stocking right sides out.
then give it a good press insert the stocking lining into the outside stocking wrong sides together matching your side seams Now I'll set aside my stocking and work on the hanging loop. I'm going to fold it in half, wrong sides together and press. Open up the strip and fold the edges into the center and then fold again and press. And then I'll take it to the sewing machine and top stitch along the long edges one eighth of an inch. I'm done top stitching the hanging loop and the next step is to sew the cuff. So I'm going to place the two cuff pieces right sides facing each other and then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew the two long edges with a half inch seam allowance. And then press the seams open. And now what I'm doing is I'm just rolling the cuff so that the wrong sides are together. And then once I'm done, I'm going to tuck the cuff into the stocking unit next to the lining. I'm going to ensure that I match the side seams. And now I'm just using paints to secure all the layers together. Now I'm going to fold the hanging loop in half and tuck it into the stocking between the cuff and the lining very close to one of the side seams. I'm going to secure that with a pin also and then take the stocking to the sewing machine and sew the top seam all the way around through the layers using a half inch seam allowance. So I'm just trimming the seams that I just sewed using my pinking shears. Now I'm going to pull out the cuff and fold it over the stocking. Then take it to the ironing board and give it a final press. And that's it guys, our Christmas stocking is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share and leave me your thoughts in the comments section. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.